Hello, Rome Mithril here once again, getting back to World of Horror. When those are draw, this is probably going to be my last run for the moment, because as much as I do love the game, I know people probably want me to get back to some bigger projects. I'm considering starting up Pokemon Crystal No Evolutions pretty soon here as kind of a for me project, get back into the swing of things a bit. Rest assured, Battle Network 5 is not cancelled. I think I just need more of a running start to jump back into that one, because Let's face it, Battle Network projects are big. But before I do get back to those, I want to take one more attempt to get through a run with the idol, and I also want to finally use the seed that Kit suggested to me that kept getting delayed. Before that, though, I had someone ask what Mystery Monograph was about. Mystery Monograph compiles all mystery endings you've seen. Okay, so this is a listing of all the investigations, and what endings I do and do not have for each one. Handy. Okay. So, let's begin. So, once again, we are going to seed the run. First you draw a circle, add a central pentagram, summon Eldritch Demons, presto it's Kirby. I mean, if you look at the final bosses of most Kirby games, I don't think this is totally unreasonable. Praise the car. Okay, so, once again, the Teen Idol, we're going to go with Hunted by the Cult and hope we don't run into the one with the gun right away, that was bad. Again, timeline I don't think matters. We just want to finish a run. And once again, we'll go with Yagothag. We still haven't beaten the Axolotl, which is actually kind of the right color this time. And I'm actually wondering if I'm saying that right. As often as I've seen the name of that particular animal, I don't think I've ever actually heard the name actually pronounced. I mean, it looks like it would be said like Axolotl. I don't know. They're cute, that's what matters. Okay, so our starting ally this time, Ryoko. Park Ranger, plus one to weapons damage. Oh, that sounds good. I know a faster way. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be getting a weapon right away. I've gotten some advice on how to play as the idol. We'll see how that goes. Part of it, though, is another location I want to make sure is open. The Illegal Den. Weird choice for an idol, but... There's a reason for it. They know. Wow, really? Nothing in there, huh? Okay. Eh, let's go with this one. Will I win the run? Yes or no? Go ahead and get the small experience bonus. Almost forgot that. Okay, so we're we are going to start this the same way as last time, make sure we have the Eels mystery. Ward, Found Footage, Flood, Crimson Cape, Evolving Eels. Oh, do we really have to have this one again? It went so well last time. But, we're going to go for it. We'll start with the Eels so that we get Kana. Also, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I am overthinking the ending I'm missing for this investigation, 
Though we won't be going for it this time because we kind of need Kana to live. I'm assuming the ending that I'm missing is once I get to the apartment at the end with the eels in it and everything, just don't even bother looking for Kana, just immediately nope on out. That makes sense to me. Don't go to the hospital or the mansion. Oh, we have other business. To the illegal den, where we can actually hire allies for Doom. So, here's something about that last idol run that I didn't know. When trying to recruit the student allies, I wasn't having bad luck with it. They can be kind of hit or miss as far as joining you, but apparently if you have at least three allies, no students will join you from that point on. Didn't know that. Here though, I don't think you have that limit. So let's see here. Ikumi. These angles don't make sense. Plus one to all skill checks in other world locations. Interesting. So I kind of want to get up to at least five allies, I think. That seems like a good number for now. Asato, follow me. Let go, gain two spells. Mm, don't know how useful that is, but right now, I just need numbers. Okay, one more. Kazumi, I can patch that up. Cheaper treatment and surgery actions. Nice. Okay, so that, we're good for the moment. I'm not going to bother with a weapon just yet. Don't investigate school, seaside, nor apartments. Of course. You're going to be a pest, aren't you? Well, actually, I do need to prepare to get the mirror. So hopefully you moved on. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So we have quite the entourage, and that's what we want. You return home to freshen up. When you enter your bathroom, however, you discover that your shower is missing. In its place, there's an old clawfoot tub. The whole thing feels surreal, but you take a step towards it, wondering how this is possible. Take a bath or back out? Ah, uh, the mirror isn't showing me anything. So I want to say if it doesn't show me what the stat being checked is, then it's a luck check. But I think I'm just going to back out. You may be a little sweaty, but there's no chance you're risking entering this weird bathtub. Minus one stamina just for leaving? Really? Okay. Oh, you go egg. You're being mean. But I do need to investigate the seaside at least once. You do go back to it as part of just the normal path of the investigation. But we'll get a second visit. Cult members are on your trail. You must hurry. Plus two doom. Oh, that's unfortunate. And you still don't want me to visit the school. You are a pain. Okay, so getting access by the stubborn receptionist. It's a charisma check. Or let Kazumi talk to the receptionist? That's interesting. Yeah, let's try it. Turns out the Kazumi and the receptionist are old friends. Under a pretense of catching up, they both go to a break room. This allows you to copy some names and addresses from the database plus 20 experience. Heck yeah. I don't think I had that option before. I don't think I've ever had Kazumi. And gotten that particular event. Okay. So, now we can go back to doing what we need to. Well, I mean, we did on that run anyway. We just incurred a penalty for it, but we're safe to investigate the apartments. As you prepare a bath, you think about all of the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice-cold water is a good idea. Cold bath is a strength check, which ours is terrible. Hot bath. Hot bath is so inviting that you've spent an extra hour in it plus one doom. Fine. Okay... Continue investigating the apartments, which we're safe to do. 
Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. That's a dex check. Call the police, I think just ends badly. Uh, let's try the dex check. Failure. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building minus two reason. Could have been worse. Okay, so we've got the burnt notes. Yep, we know all about that. Okay, continue to investigate the apartments. We're still good. Battle time. Passing by a faulty elevator, its door suddenly open. You take a step back, noticing a weird tall woman standing in the darkness. Do you live here? I've never seen you. Cyclops neighbor. I'm just gonna say, from the artwork, you don't particularly look tall. But we'll go with it. Any special actions for you? I, I kind of doubt it. Ask your ally to distract the enemy. If successful, faster combat action for the duration of this encounter. If failed, lose a random ally base chance 70. Yeah, no, they, we don't want to do that. So apparently, I do want to actually use allies to attack more often. So basically, I guess if I'm really lucky at max, I can do 10 damage per attack. But it depends on how many of my allies succeed in their role, more or less. So this attack, it can do more damage than me just poking with a knife, but there is a bit of risk involved just of how often will they hit. However, from what I've been told, attacking with your allies, that doesn't have any risk of your allies dying. That was something I was worried about. Because yeah, I don't really want to lose allies. Okay, so, 18 HP, one reason so, let's do this. Okay. So, missed the first one. The crowd surrounded and did 8 damage on the last one. Okay. So, I'm guessing if I'm interpreting it right, the chance to hit determines the entire party's chance of hitting, and then there's a separate roll to see just how much damage out of a possible 10 I do? Well, I mean, that was a perfect attack, all 10 damage, so that works. Okay. Alright, so we need to investigate the seaside now, which is part of the subquest, so that's good for us. Never mind. Very never mind. That was a lot of reason loss. And now they want us to investigate the school, and, uh, yeah. Egotha Egg is gonna be a problem. Ritsuko-chan was the most promising athlete in the school. When she suddenly disappeared, the case was quickly closed without any suspects. Today, she finally dug herself out. Vengeful Athlete. 13 HP, goes after stamina. The party has a 50% chance to hit. Okay, at least hit the second attack. There we go. So yes, having the party attack, hopefully that will get me through more combat encounters and rack up some experience quickly for me. Okay, yeah, as soon as I investigate, I do have the option of just getting out. But that's not what we're gonna do gonna go to the bedroom. We're gonna lose even more reason. And we're not gonna look. It just never gets any easier, does it? But we're good. Kinda has survived. So we have a really good ally that's going to help us out with combat encounters. 
Okay, so we got 30 experience, 15 more for thorough investigation, minus 3 doom for there's still hope, plus 1 reason and stamina, plus 1 day. Okay. Winds of Plague. A weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Treatment and surgery actions cost more. I wonder how well that's negated by the one ally we have. So we got the first key. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need reason. Alright. Oh, we can gain a level, that's good. Parting gift, signed contract, or outdoorsman. Letting allies go grants a permanent bonus to one of your stats. That's not bad, but I don't really think I want to let allies go as this character. Signed contract. Extra funds for completing a mystery. Now that could be useful. And outdoorsman is just plus one luck, which we can't even see, so who knows. So I'll just go ahead and take that. And... Let's boost dex. Okay, so we have signed contract now, so that's good. Okay, the burn notes aren't in our inventory, so that's good. Okay, so what to go for next? Mm, Crimson Cape is always an iffy one. It's the gamble of do I want to do it now while I have more stamina and reason, or is the mystery just going to drain it all? I don't remember that much about Frightening Flood. Found footage is one that I worry about just for doom consumption toward the end. Wordless Ward. I think I've been told that the ending I'm missing is a special command in the end battle for this one. I mean, this is at least usually a fairly quick one to get to the end, so let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Okay. So. Let's just do this. Are you always here in this graphic? I don't remember you being there. Weird. Okay. Don't have anatomy class? I never have anatomy class. It's probably unique to somebody. So, dex check. We just boosted ours. It's still not good, though. You struggle to help the men, but you both fall down the stairs. The man's cast breaks, and you scream. Underneath the cast, there's a seething sore froth. Uh, uh, there's a seething sore frothing with green bubbles. The man smiles. His smile way too wide for his face, minus two stamina. Okay, friend is lying in bed, still sleeping after the surgery, covered up in bandages. We're just gonna go get a drink. Weird cloud formation is formed above Shiokawa. Everyone you know thinks it's really freaky, but they can't help themselves but observe it. You know there's a hidden unsettling truth behind the weather lately. Yeah, it's the fact that this old god wanted to cheat because he can't use his power while I'm in one, lo one singular location. So I wanted to get that doom in there any way I could. I guess you're always there. You're stopped by two nurses. Ready to apologize and explain yourself, you notice their weird smiles, dead stares, sharp knives. Anomaly attendant and corpse caregiver. Midnight shift. Okay. So... 
we'd have a better chance of immediately taking out uh, Nurse B. At least I think. She's also the one that goes after Reason, which is lower for us, so I probably do want to get rid of her first. 74% chance to hit. Because, yeah, I don't know if you can split your attacks on one turn. Ah, we missed the second attack, though. Just to check. Yeah, it doesn't look like there are any other options. Oh, okay, it's just automatically going back to Nurse A. It messed me up because it got rid of the enemy on the left, which I would have assumed was enemy A. I got really confused. Of course, missed the second attack. Didn't do enough damage. Really. Wait, what's that? Well, we got a weapon. I may as well take it. Okay. Everything seems off. They've gone to sleep. Okay, the abandoned metro. This one's a lock thing. Lock fail, of course. Yeah, at this rate... Oh, I can't rest? Really? Well, that's just mean. So, uh... Apparently, as I found out, hiding the curious package from the doppelganger is actually a trap. Somehow, their punching does more damage than stabbing us. Sense make. Huh, minus two reason. Yep, it's being rude. Yep, here's your package. You're staring. It's creepy. We're not at the jump scare one yet. We don't have arcane grasp, so branded like cattle. Okay, we can rest now. I think I'm gonna have to.